Hi, my name is Shobin and I would like to explain about the test stand basics. This is a night eye stand, sequence editor, and we have another window for um, the running. That's like a, the base is purely in the lab view. So in in this NI test stand uh, sequence editor, and it's used for, uh, used for the made the sequences like either the pause or the fail or like if you are running any um, test documents so we can uh, use this one as a sequence editor for either the battery testing or the powertrain testing or the electronics or mechanical or any system we can run that one and it's like uh, we can see the file and uh, in a file we can have the option for save and uh, create a new one and the uh, edit we can have undo redo and copy paste delete rename and all these options and execute execute we can see the run option and run selected steps and run selected steps using so and debug configure source control tools windows and help help we can get like some examples or if you have any doubts you can refer so all these edit if you see undo redo cut copy paste that's like a option is giving uh, cut copy paste and it's like basically some of this functionality for the file is like a creating a new file create open a file like an existing file how to open it and the save the file and save us so this functionality is in short it's like explaining here and if you want to uh, call some functionality there is an option here either you can call some existing code from the lab view or lab cbi or c c plus dot net or um, anything even the none that means like you can just create its own software and like there is a multiple option here and um, uh, then this is called the um, other window here even though you can see that all the functionality for the python everything and you can call here so insertion palette and this one i will uh, discuss this one soon uh, it's like uh, you can drag and drop for you are creating the sequences and flow controls you can even though control the sequences like with within certain conditions like a four or e for do while or for each or anything and here you can see the steps variable and uh, sequences this is like uh, variables are what are the variables you define and the steps are the what are the steps you define uh, and the sequences um, like then um, you have a output window and the analysis results so if you want to start a new test stand window then we just like either you can go for a file or you can just like a cl click here then um, you will enter to the new test stand window so in the new test stand window there is a setup menu that you can just like initialize the uh, your uh, equipment actually so for example if you want to run a powertrain engine motor you just like um, uh, want to initialize like a set torque is equal to zero or the rpm is equal to zero um, and also the condition all the oil temperature is uh, so and so like that you can mention and the main sequence is like okay all of your sequences in terms of um, uh, speed sweep torque sweep or um, or even the temperature sweep or like uh, even though if you are uh, running the engine you can see that uh, and you, you have to run like a pressure and the temperature speed and all those things in the certain sweep and also define which valves you want to test and if you are in the gear testing you can test like what are the gears on the mesh and the different ways and the cleanup is will if you finally want to close all those things then it will become so the main sequence is here and the way of creating a new sequence is like a right click over there and insert sequence so then you can just easily create the new sequence so i just like a click project to one over the new sequence then you can see the you can see variables here um, in variables uh, there is a local variable parameters file global station globals this context and run state local variable is like you can create any variable here like for example insert local you can um, insert number string boolean object or the container type or um, array um, any variable you can uh, create and this variable only for this sequence and if you want to go back you can just like uh, here uh, for the main sequence and it's just like uh, now you are in a, uh, uh, if you want to go for this sequence you are here and you are just like uh, uh, explaining about the variables so local variable is just for this sequence or the subsequence or 
the where the sequence you are open uh, and the parameters that you can call this value to the other sequences either into the subsequence or over the subsequence into the subsequence is value and over the subsequence is reference that will we can see and the file global throughout we can just like if you are in a project maybe you make a 20 or 30 sequences all together and if you want to call the variables at any time to any sequence then you can create here and the station global is a system variable uh, i'm opening this one in my computer this computer automatically generates a certain system so it may be different in other places so uh, if you are opening a new system or an existing code and to convert it to the other uh, computer you just like uh, always concern about the station globals and make sure that the station globals are same and then this conduct and the runs or the uh, the variable so uh, and here uh, here you can see that even though it's like a variable if you just like a click double click there and drag so you can just place it here so it's just like you easily move any of the window to any of the places so it's according to your convenience and um, that's absolutely fine to do it so then now you are in the main sequence and uh, if, if you just like a uh, say main sequence uh, for the sake of uh, uh, today's section i want to wind up quickly so so i just like a double click message pop up or you can drag and drop message pop, pop up like uh, i just like it like this so message pop up comes like this then um, you can click uh, uh, click and say rename uh, project one and here is your message is all uh, the double inverted comma and say that um, um, i am going to start test stand um, sorry i'm going to start test stand so that's like my window so the project one is in here and here also i just like i made a, uh, a message pop up that is my this is my main sequence and the one of the thing that if you just like a click, click there and uh, go you can uh, even change the font and font size over there um, even the italic or italic so uh, like even the size and the bold all the options are there and, uh, and even though you can just like a change the background color uh, in a different way so uh, that also is possible so the message this is my main sequence and this a message pop up is um, just for the main uh, sequence so that's my uh, the main sequence and then i create a subsequence and uh, here um, again i just like a it's like sub sequence soon we will uh, um, make a proper full functionality stay tuned uh, tuned and um, it's like a th this is my sub sequence and um, then yeah that, that's pretty fine so you can just clearly see the difference between the project and uh, so uh, and and if i want to call project one into the my main sequence what should i do that just click over here and um or uh, insert steps then you will get all the options over what you can see over here uh, it's depend on uh, which version you are um, uploaded so what you have to do that either drag and drop or just double click so you you're just like uh, making an action so it's like uh, that we will discuss soon so um, uh, there's a sequence call is called sequence call either you can uh, um, insert steps and call the sequence call or uh, just this one then what you have to do that um, here use the current file or you can have a, any existing file it will be fine and you can just like a creating a project one then you are just like running a project one over there then yeah that's that, that's pretty then if you want to run uh, if you want to check this code then you can just like uh, see here the analyze sequence you can just like uh, clearly see you have any errors in the code or something like that then um, so here's like uh, you can see the there is no major errors like even though if i just say severity 
then you will get some severe errors there uh, if there is any errors there will come any some severe error for example if i just like a click project one um, then um, this is my step settings window and if i just like a forgo to do this like uh, closed inverted comma so i know that this is the error so i can even click here and see that oh, unexpected token i'm going to start to stand so this value cause an error because there is some problem in here and even if you just like uh, analyze this value then say there is a major error that uh, uh, then if you double click there it says that oh it's like this is the place you have to close then again if you check then it will say no error and um, if you check this one okay there is no severe error then uh, you are ready to go for um, this run and for example if you want to break this um, test so for example how this uh, sequence will execute that um, project one that's i'm going to st start the test stand then after the going into the main sequence this is my main sequence then it's called go to the sequence call if i double click it's called to the sequence then say this is my sub sequence so if you want to come out you can just like a uh, click here perfect so um this is the project one so how to execute this one and for example i just like i want to introduce the option that this is the breakup so it's like a, when i uh, run this one it will stop over here and uh, even though there is an option that execute test uut single pass run main sequence and there are a lot of option for running uh, like even though you can say that only you can send the selected step so then it will be only run this step or you can just say single pass means only you can run this step and stop it and loop on selected steps then you can just like that step is repeating over the time so what now i'm going to do that this is there is an option for you can run all the options together like test uut completely and uh, it's like this say uut you do want to save i'm just not going to save this file uh, but you can save in the corresponding places so this will be the test stand so they will ask the serial number so you can um, uh, type any number or any because in your save in your report file it will be according to that so you can see that it's executed the first step and it stopped there so i'm going to start the test stand so if i just say okay then it just like a stay there with um, it is like a yellow window means it's just like it's not executing and the white window is executing it's not executing and the white window is executing and there is some option is like a step into and step over and uh, step out so let me start with the step over means it's going to the one more step then you can just see what's happening then if i click one more step it's like a going to the sequence so because the uh, this is so we change the background color and this one so it's like a main sequence uh, this is my main sequence definitely so if i just like click ok it will go to this one then um if i just like uh, click on step into that means it's going to this sequence call inside of that one yeah that sequence call then it's like and right now i am in the inside of sequence call even though i can make a break up there um then step over then it's like a, this is my subsequence perfect then i come here then if i just like a click step out then i come outside then i'm done my uh, i already completed my code and uh, maybe i can just like a step over then test sequence passed then it will be asked again do you want to run the same so i'm just stop here then um, uh, yeah uh, I stop there then you can just like uh, it's a uh, report general automatically the test report generate whatever items I did so if I fail somewhere they say fail but this time I pass then it's like a done this test test data and main sequence uh, all the buttons and everything is like uh, updating properly the sub sequence and what it's done uh, all the all those things can be seen in the report itself so now what i'm going to do that i'm just taking out all the breakup things so there is nothing here then i just come out and um, i can run this fully then without any problem so i don't need to go for all these steps like just um, um, asking me that i am going to 
start the touch stand and it's just like uh, this is the second one this is my main sequence and uh, this is my sub sequence and i paused so uh, for the demonstration purpose i showed everything and if i just want to break this one so i can just like a stop at that particular point and uh, then i can have edit uh, close this one and if i just want to go any step before or after uh, because for example i can just like a uh, move and run steps courses there um, then there is a plenty of option like that that we will discuss um, soon and thank you for now bye for now